Hey, 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 it's Paul Jang, and today we're going to be talking about uh, you wanting to invest in farmland, five unexpected problems that you need to know uh, if this is what you want to do. Okay, so the first thing is that you just want to check that the farmland is suitable for a farm uh, operation, not all land is uh is good for farming you'll find that uh some land is better for uh, a certain type of crop or fruit you just want to be sure that the climate and the soil uh all that is set up for the type of uh, farming you want to get done now uh something you might want to check is if it's flexible if you need to switch gears to another crop or to another fruit that you are able to do that right you're going to want to consider is there enough space and most importantly if there are any zoning restrictions if you purchase a property and zoning says that you can't you know use this for farmland then you're kind of stuck in a pretty bad spot you'll have to either kind of do it without the county knowing and hope the county doesn't find out because if they do you'll get fined right or you'll have to like sell it to someone else, probably at a loss if you didn't buy it right, and then find the property that will give you uh, those rights. So uh, make sure that the farmland is suitable for a uh, farm operation. Not all land is. You're gonna wanna make sure that it's attuned for your uh, crop and fruit, but also that the county is allowing you to do this. Now, the second thing you're gonna wanna make sure with the property is if it has easy access. Now, some of the cheaper properties out there might not have the best access, but you might want to consider avoiding these because uh, you'll need to transport your crops and your fruit. So if you can't easily move in and out, that might be a problem uh, for you later down the road, especially as you're moving things in bulk. Uh, just make sure that it also has legal access and that all the you know T's and I's are crossed and everything's okay with that. The third thing you're gonna to wanna to check is if there are any environmental problems. You can do an environmental audit, right? You could hire someone to check, you know, for, ga for gas and other waste products that might be on the property that might mess up your land, right? And you won't be able to grow crops. So just make sure that, you know, whenever you are doing your inspections that you have some kind of audit, some person coming out to the property and just checking that the property is good, especially if you're going to use it for uh, farmland. The fourth thing you might want to consider is I know that you want to invest in farmland, but consider if it might not be better just to lease the property. There's, uh, you know, there's people that are just land holders and leasing it out to farmers. So if, so if you just want to, you know, do this kind of as a hobby or if you want to do, do it full scale, like consider if maybe leasing might be a better option for you. And if, uh, if you really need to buy, you know, this kind of property. In, in most cases than not, it might just be easier to just lease the farmland because a lot of the due diligence is kind of already packaged in with the property. So the fifth thing is just understanding the end goal with your farmland. Uh, if you are buying the piece of land, consider at what price point you're buying it and if you will be able to sell the land you know, later down the road for profit if you ever wanted to get out, out of this business. There are other options. You could lease it out to a farmer or uh, you know, just grow your own crops and you know have the land in your you know family for generation after generation. But just be really clear on the end goal. It will affect how you purchase it or lease it or decide what you want to do with it. Okay, so those are some of the five things that you need to know that you know you might find problems in the future if you haven't considered them before. Stay tuned for other videos if you like uh, gaining wealth, financial freedom. Uh, you know making money that kind of stuff subscribe and like this video it helps with the YouTube algorithm and uh, Comment below for any questions you might have or any future videos you might want to see in the future Take care. This is Paul Jay. Have a good one